what's happening my people so this is something that i bring y'all every now and then on the channel a little less now often because uh we don't have movies nowadays that we can't go to the theaters this is something if it did go to the theaters i would have definitely went went see this watching the trailer for this i was like spike lee chadwick boseman i'm in i'm in uh it didn't disappoint, man. This was a real good movie. It's long. It's long. I'll, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's two hours and 30 minutes. If you want to Netflix and chill, hey, you might want to get it in first. Because uh, y'all probably going to be sleeping by the time this movie be over. So uh, get it in first. <laughs> For real. But it's two hours, 30 minutes, man. This is Spike Lee joint. We need to give Spike Lee his roses while the brother is still here. He is... He is an asset uh, to the black community, man, to the artistic cinematography community or whatever, man. This brother has been putting his, uh, been paying his dues for years, man, been putting it down from Malcolm X to, all, man, just all the, the black things he, he, he did. Uh, he's put a lot of people in position, like he helped Denzel build his career, uh, Beautiful, beautiful work, man. The cinematography in this is great. Of uh, the soundtrack, the soundtrack is basically Marvin Gaye. So, how can you go wrong? A soundtrack of, of is Marvin Gaye music. You, you can't go wrong. But this story is about the Five Bloods, and I, I love the historical references and stuff, man, because it's about these these five um, veterans from the Vietnam War, and so. Uh, five of them. Uh, I don't want to give too much a story, a story away. But they have like two stories. They have like the past. They show what happened back when they was in Vietnam. They end up finding some gold and stuff, and they buried the gold. They show this in the trailer, so it's not spoiling the movie. So they buried the gold, and they they wanted to come to it later on. And so all these years later, they finally come back to Vietnam. Uh, they find satellite images of a spot that they think that uh that the area was at because they had like a mudslide, so they were able to see that like a there was a a a, tra a a plane wreckage, and they were able to see like a little piece of the plane. So they like that's where it's at. That's where it's at. So they got the satellite images. They coming back to it for them to try to find this gold. And so it's a story. It's a story about friendship, camaraderie, history, pain, uh, PTSD. Like, the brothers have been through hell and back, man. Like, especially uh, Delroy Lindo. I think that's his name. He's uh, basically the star of the movie. Uh, his name is Paul in the movie. Uh, and he's he's crazy. But the war did him dirty. Like, he, he lost his mind. And so he's always been kind of off. Like he he's a he walks around with a "Make America Great Again" hat and stuff. Like he voted for Trump and stuff like that. Like do, would that make him crazy? Because he not necessarily, but it's just like a brother in war veteran, and he like <laughs> he's been on hard times. So he's like, man, I voted for Trump, thinking something gonna be better. Man, I need something to work. So he blind hopes voting for Trump, thinking he's gonna do something, do was gonna do something for him or whatever. But these these brothers, these old brothers, one one thing that's crazy about it though, because they got Chadwick Boseman and stuff like in the past, and so he was storming Norman. He was like the the Malcolm X, Martin Martin uh, Luther King of their group. He was the leader, and so he would he would lead them lead them into battle and stuff. And he was also like like telling Black history and stuff. He was like that dude, and uh, he 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 would lead them in in it, but uh, like it was it was just crazy because they have all these these actors Delroy Lindo in them, but they also like these are some old gentlemen. Like a lot of the old people, they've been in the other Spike Lee movies and stuff. Uh, but the older gentlemen. They played their, their sales back in Vietnam. So it's a bunch of old ass Vietnam brothers. <laughs> they play it like they in their 20s, but they look old as dirt. 
And they running around with Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman had the youngest brother in the world. He in his 40s. I think he's close to 50 as well. But he looks young. Like, they look old. <laughs> and then they, in the future, they look basically how they looked in Vietnam. Is like, you could have cast two, you could have cast a younger cast for, for that. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you wanted just to, either to save money or just to, I don't know. I don't know. What what that what that was about, but man, they they go through these battles. It you think it's gonna be something simple, like they're gonna go and they're gonna go in this jungle, they're gonna find this gold, and it's just gonna work out like that. Not necessarily. It is a story, like it is a true story. Like it's just it's a movie and stuff, but it's a story. You are captivated. You want to see what's happening. You cannot predict what's gonna happen. There are a lot of plot. Not necessarily plot twists and stuff, but it's just like a lot of unexpected turns and stuff. It's like, wait up, that happened? Wait up, that? Wait up, hope those, they, they are fighting now? Wait up, hope, what, huh? What he, uh, what? So it's a lot of that. But one thing, one negative thing about the movie, there are a lot of like dead spots. Like whenever they are getting to the jungle and stuff to try to find their goal and everything. It drags for a while. Being a two hour and thirty minute movie, it does drag at some points and stuff. But when they do have action, like I, I like the past scenes. I wish they would have showed a lot more of that. They would have showed a lot more of Chadwick Bozeman. He did a good job. Chadwick Bozeman and Delroy Lindo did a phenomenal job. Chadwick Bozeman, I wish he had more screen time in this movie. Because he Kind of forever. That's my dog. That's my dog. Jackie Robinson, James Brown. He's been every black person, black historical figure in the world. But he does a phenomenal job. Deroy Lindo does a phenomenal job. It's a good movie. It has a few dead spots. But being that it is so long, but man, you get you get payoff in the end and stuff, man. Like you see the you see them battling. They, they have a, a lot of stuff. They have Black Lives Matter things. It this comes at a good time. Because it, it shows a lot of history, and then it shows, like, what we are going through today. Like, in the words of Deontay Wilder, to this day, to this day. The things that they was going through in Vietnam, like, they did all this for the war and for a corrupt government that didn't do anything for them. And then when they got back, nothing was done for them. They tossed them out in the trash and didn't give them their rights. They struggled. And it's a lot of the same that a lot of people, man, y'all know struggling. This is not that bad. It, it's still a bad in society. They have a lot of bad things going. We have progressed a lot, but there's still a long way to go. And Spike Lee captures a lot of that, man. Just the parallels of the past and the future and stuff, man, and the present. Like, he does a phenomenal job, man. Spike Lee, salute the brother. He did a phenomenal job with this movie, man. I would definitely say for you to watch this. It's just long, so get prepared, uh, get your popcorn and stuff ready. Uh, I would give this in a rating, a rating wise, I would give this an 8 out of 10. I would give it an 8 out of 10 because it's so long, there are a few dead spots and stuff. And then like a lot of, like, it, it has a lot of interesting twists and stuff, but a lot of stuff, some things are kind of crazy. It's like, wait, that happened? That happened? I'm like. Uh, the cinematography is wonderful. I like the transitions. The transitions is kind of a Tarantino-esque, but they do have that Spike Lee classic film style. You know, Spike Lee does his thing in that category. I would, I would hope that it gets some kind of award for something. I don't know if it's necessarily the best acting job in the world as far as like Malcolm X or anything like that, but I would like for it to get some kind of award. I would hope so. Spike Lee deserves deserves a lot, man. The brother been putting it down for years. And this, being that there isn't a lot of movies, man, that come out, this right here was actually it was phenomenal. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it an eight because there there was there was some some things that could have been better or some things that seemed maybe a little rushed or not necessarily sensical, nonsensical or whatever. But uh. But I'm not gonna tear it apart, man. I enjoyed the movie. Like I was glued to the to the screen for the two and a half hours. I didn't feel like, oh, I wish this would hurry up or whatever. I was like, man, what's gonna happen next? 
So, man, I would definitely uh, suggest you watch this, man. I don't want to be too long-winded, but I want to, to get a brother his roses, man, salute him. Uh, Spike Lee, Chadwick Boseman, uh, Daryl Lindo, the rest of the cast, they did a phenomenal job. Like, comment, subscribe, go be the greatest of the most hated, man. How I let your boy. Peace out.